Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to our Text Chainsaw Massacre the Game video. This is our second take of this. Uh, we got through literally the whole thing, realized we weren't recording. You ever do that? Any content creators ever do that? You work on a whole video, you shoot a whole video. This is why we only shoot one video at a time. Because when <laughs> we stop recording, we think we start recording. Yeah, sometimes we forget to press record because again. Because we're stupid. Yeah. I mean, there's literally a giant screen in front of us that says <laughs> ISO record. It's right there. We, you know, skill issue. Yeah. Definitely recording this time. Uh, are we? Def Can yeah. I be heard? Yeah. Are we live? Today we're doing a patch review and a content review. Huh? First content drop for the Text Chainsaw Massacre. It's all cosmetic based, but it's content nonetheless. We are over two and a half months into the game. I'm not being negative. I'm just two and a half months in. This is our first drop. I uh, usually drops usually drops for like big drops for games are quarterly i'll teach you how it works dead by daylight's quarterly uh you know call of duty's like it's season based quarterly uh usually right three months for a season yes something like that i don't know usually there's a lot more stuff that fill out the gaps in between those are your small cosmetic things instead of kind of spreading these out they hit us with one big drop that sits at 41 dollars to buy all of it at the same time if you buy the bundle for victims eh, is it worth it that's yeah. the question yeah. yeah we're gonna find out we're gonna find out we'll talk about that but let's first talk about the patch huh the patch it, it like literally only four patch notes yeah that's the whole patch it was the well, first of all the family xp that was the big one yep you have the uh dc uh if someone dc's you get to keep your xp now as family yep that's nice mm -hmm. there was the updated bios that's huge they added some quotation marks maybe a period yeah fixed typos that's what Andy said. They, yeah. they fixed typos. I, I wouldn't put that in the patch notes next time, but OK. Yeah. Yeah. What? Unless you are actually changing content. Yeah, it, it is one of those things like unless you're actually changing the wording in there. The it's, lore. Yeah. Changing the lore. Well, I don't know why you even bothered to tell us. Could have been one of those things just went under the table. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, and what was the last thing? Uh, match, match and logic. Yeah, match and logic. So instead of when somebody DCs in the last kill, it, instead of searching for that player and making you sit there for 10 seconds for the game ends, it... It's, I don't even know. It's supposed to then just end. But I, in our experience or in my experience, I don't, I don't think that is actually the case. I think it takes just about as long to actually end the match. But... Honestly, as long as the family's getting their XP, I don't care. Yeah, it does kind of guarantee that you're going to get credit for the last kill yep. instead of it sitting there and waiting and breaking everything. So that is nice. Yeah. So the family XP thing, that's the big one. And it is noticeable. Mm -hmm. it, it does actually work. Hitchhiker getting four digits consistently now. At a babe. Finally. <laughs> yeah. So you can actually play Hitchhiker and actually level up the way that you want. That was just disrespectful. So Hitchhiker can actually level up now. You can play Hitchhiker. You can actually level up. It's nice. Yeah. It's a little breath of fresh air. I, you know, I was, uh, I was 99 before that buff, you know? Wow. Yeah, I earned my, I earned my 99. All you fake family mains <laughs> getting your XP now. I earned mine. That's fine. I didn't, I barely played any victim to my 99. Back in the day, my Hitchhiker only got 300 XP per match because people would leave mid-kill. <laughs> yeah, you kids have no idea what I went through to get to 99. <laughs> uh, to be fair, though, I played like 99% Leatherface and I stole all your guys' skills, so. Yeah. Good to go. Yeah. Good to go. But yeah, we even had a game where we were playing victim where a family got the, the least amount of XP on the team was 4,000. <laughs> Like Leatherface walked out of there with 5,500 XP. Yeah. So, and it, it wasn't anything, it wasn't a crazy game, you know? It was long. He destroyed everything he could. I don't even there know if they got a clean sweep. I think they only got three kills. No. I don't know. I, I think so. They, I mean, there were lots of health bottles, thank God. Yeah. Because, yeah, they kept hitting. You guys, yeah, a lot of hits, a lot of traps, a lot of wells. Quantum a lot trap. of obstacles destro destroyed, apparently. Yes. yes. Yeah. So, yeah, you can get a ton of XP now as family, or at least like close to what victims will get. And that's nice. Finally. Only Finally. took two and a half months for that. that was, that's it for like the actual patch notes. They did say they're going to have, like, this is not a big patch. It's not meant to be. They're working on a big patch that's supposed to adjust the lobby dodging and the lobby simulator experience. Hopefully helps with the server crash issues that are still there. A little bit better. 
I don't know if they adjusted something in this update, but it seemed to be a little bit better last night and the last two nights. So the thing is, they're they're a little better. However, that if you're solo queuing, you'll notice it when you're in a party of three and they're staggered. So it's like one in every five games, one in every five games, one in every five games, but they're not the same five games that there will be a server issue, someone or a game crash issue. Yeah. Um, which then, you know, you can't just disband or you have to disband the party. You can't just go through a lot of times you have to reset your game completely yeah i don't know if that is that an issue on xbox and pc for please let me know uh i could i wouldn't know but yeah if, if we disband the party there's a lot of times where it will not let me invite players anymore on playstation so you i have to, to restart re- your yeah. game all the time all and that's not just like a game crash that's like hey we just the game's over or we're all spectating we don't want to watch the last guy do whatever so we leave just to go to the next game and I can't invite anybody can't invite anybody back, which is a, that's the party disbanding issue that they're also looking into. That's that's on the list as well. Yeah. So that, yeah, a lot of changes still need to come. Apparently they're working on a big update for all that. I hope that's true. Need my Muerto times. Yeah. Yeah. Got to save my 10 cents this month. Well, yeah, but you did spend $41. I sure did. Yeah. Well, I, you didn't, I didn't, I can't afford it. Yeah. Well, you know, that ass it, it, ain't, it ain't going anywhere can't afford it. i mean yeah a lot of people were worried that this is limited time dlc i don't there was no wording that even inferred suggested that yeah that it was like that yeah maybe nicotero is a one-year thing i feel like they would i highly doubt somehow it. somehow say it but i i doubt no, it highly I, no i it's safe to assume that all this dlc is going to be there forever yeah i would sure hope so yeah um any hidden things, any hidden thing that are not in the patch notes that got snuck in there? Uh, one thing that comes to mind is I was cook. I was playing as cook. I was trying to farm some XP, uh, pulling them up during an execution animation. And it was insanely hard to pull them up during an animation. Yeah, we were talking about this. that It could potentially be the because of the execution, the new execution. Right. Maybe it's just harder, but that wouldn't have been every time, though. And like, you know, I wasn't the only one getting kills. Uh, Right. Yeah. So uh, maybe the chainsaw isn't loud enough for that animation. But pay to win. It's pay to win. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that uh, in a little bit. But yeah, I the one thing that, that was driving me nuts, and I would love to hear from you players as well if this was the case for you. I could not on both sides, family and victim, could not interact with doors. Mm-hmm. I, I could eventually. There were so many times, especially when you're like in sprint, you're moving fast, just would not interact with the fucking door. Yep. Which is so annoying, especially if you're going for door slams or if you're like just running through a door and you're trying to close it behind you. So you get distance and you can't do that. Or when it was really pissing me off when I was Leatherface and I was trying to counter door slams, which I've done th- literally thousands of times. OK, at this point, I have literally countered door slams thousands of times and I couldn't I couldn't interact with the door. I couldn't interact with the door to counter. So I was like, what the what is going on, man? Yeah. No, I, I uh, we were on Slaughterhouse. I was hitchhiker and I was running through the Slaughterhouse. And man, it just it took three or four times to shut the doors behind me. Yeah. And it never, never does. I can usually I hear it. I was running through. I press press my button. I kept walking. I didn't hear the door slam. I turn around. It's still open. I walk over to it. Press it again. Nothing. Press it yeah. again. It finally closes. It, that was Dude, yeah that's really annoying and then uh john last night uh as of recording this uh was uh playing victim and running towards a gate and he it looked like his controller died yeah he, he, I mean, he was just running right at it he was looking at dead in the dead in the eyes man and could not get it to open press square to open <laughs> i am <laughs> yeah yeah that's that that's just that was a perfect example of it where it's dude it what's going on why does it let you interact and it was only doors that i noticed one thing I did notice, and maybe this is why I never unintentionally interact with something I didn't want to. This could be like, this is a deep dive, whether or not they adjusted this at all. I never unintentionally grabbed a med bottle next to a door or gra- interact with a bone scrap out. I, I always do, you man. Think so? uh, maybe that's what they're trying to adjust. So, uh, so I did see in that, uh, one, uh, tick tock and, uh, clip you posted on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Uh, where Leatherface was limboing through a door. Mm-hmm. Um, you did grab a health bottle well, as I, you were trying to slam the door. Maybe that was on purpose. Maybe I needed the health <laughs> bottle. I don't remember. Uh, clearly but, you did because well, you died. The, the, <laughs> well, that clip specifically, uh, <laughs> that that clip is actually a good, ex- maybe an example of what could be happening and its latency. Uh, that could be why the door issues were a thing. 
We don't know what clip we're talking about. I'll roll it. Roll the, roll the clip. Hey, wait! If I, are you? Oh. What? 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 You saw it? You think this is funny? <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that clip's ridiculous and that was straight up latency that would have created such an issue like that where I hit him with a door slam. I get credit for a door slam, but he keeps going through it because on his end, he didn't actually interact with the door slam. Mm -hmm. So he, he's able to walk through it and, and destroy me. Um, yeah. So that happens. Uh, so that to me is a clear latency issue. So maybe that's what's happening with the doors too. And it could just because there were so many players on at the time, you know, hey DLC, $16 Nicotero Leatherface. Let's go play. That could be what it was. More people servers weren't as, there weren't as many servers available as there was at launch, you know? I don't know. All I know is it was pissing me off. It was driving me absolutely nuts. Yeah, that was uh, a little crazy. Yeah. But, oh, well. Um, that was pretty much it, though. We we did... This is unrelated to this actual patch, but one of the things they snuck in, which had to happen via hotfix, it's the only way it makes any sense, because uh, there was not an update related to it. There, you didn't download this. But Sissy randomly has new VO. Mm -hmm. Like out of nowhere, Sissy can whistle now. I don't know if it's still there from this last update. I didn't, didn't see enough Sissies out there. But yeah, she all of a sudden can whistle and she has a whole other song that she sings. Out of nowhere. Yeah, no, I, it's definitely, I've never heard it before. But. Yeah. And I don't know if it's because they did it on purpose and they're teasing something, they're leading up to teasing something, or if it was an accident. <laughs> Yeah, what would there's so many builds on this game. If you go look at the Steam database, there's like 10 active builds or updating in real time. And yeah, that is that's a lot to manage and keep up with. So if they how would it roll out to all platforms? I don't know, man. If for it to happen the way it did, it seems intentional because it was all platforms, all platforms. Mm -hmm. I don't know where Sissy is is singing a new song. Yeah. Scheduled hotfix. I guess I I haven't heard these very clearly myself. People were saying that there are VO lines, new VO lines between family members that hint at a new map. Like discussing a character's bedroom that's not in the game. I don't know. I, you know, I heard uh, Cook say a line. I, man, I just don't remember what it was about, but I heard it. And then we were on stream and I think Chase even was like, I've never heard that before. And I'm like, no, I haven't either. Hmm. At this point, for that to happen, seems seems unlikely. It could be a Mandela effect. Could be. Could I don't know. be. I don't Time know. travel, you know? Yeah. But that would be, if that was their way of teasing content, I fucking love that. Right. You I know, love that. As soon as, uh, you know, first couple days the game came out, we hear the, the radios before every match. We can hear them on the maps if you find them in the basement somewhere. Um, yeah, I figured that's the perfect way. One of the days you're going to be walking by that radio and you're going to hear a news report that you've never heard before. Yeah. And that's going to be teasing new character, new content, etc. Please. I would love something like that. Yeah. That is super subtle. You have to be like kind of a diehard player to even notice that. And then you start the discussions, you know, on social media, mm -hmm. people talking. That's what was happening with this. I mean, we we heard it from people first and then heard it in, in, in game ourselves. Mm -hmm. I love shit like that. That's way cooler than posting a picture of Bill Mosley on Twitter and to get talks that way. Yep. That's a little too on the nose. <laughs> I like to be subtle, subtle in the marketing. Then eventually, you know, then you get hit with the trailers and shit like that. True, true. That'd be fun. I don't know if that's what they're doing. I'm just telling you, I know for an absolute fact that that song and that whistle were not heard before that day. So there you go. All right, with that out of the way, let's talk about the DLC. Uh, this was a big part of the update. Obviously, it's, it's the main thing that happened. $41 in DLC. Five victim cosmetic packs that can be bought in a bundle for $20 or they're $5 each. A bloody family pack that gives a bloody variant skin to all five family members, even though they get blood in game. We'll talk about that. And then, of course, the big one, the big daddy Nicotero Leatherface. If you didn't know he was available now, go look at the main menu. You'll know. I just wish I just wish I knew when Nicotero Leatherface was available. Yeah, I wish I knew what the Slaughter family house looked like. I, I used to be able to look at it on my menu. Yeah, I don't remember. I, I, I like to watch the windmill go around, but man. <laughs> yeah, that I dude. Yeah, they, I'm glad they got kind of clowned on for that. It's, it, that's just one of those things where you, you put it in the game. You all looked at it. How many people saw it? Before the patch rolled out, 
We put that update rolled out, and you all thought that was okay? You all thought a giant banner taking up half the screen was okay? Well, and I'm not a game developer. That seems like something that could be uh, fixed in a hotfix. I've seen more fixed in a hotfix than a box on the main menu that links to the store resized. Yeah. I see a lot more happen in a hotfix than that. So, I mean, they, I just hop on that. I mean, that's it's it Who is knows? kind of ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, it looks because what they're doing, they were trying to be aesthetically pleasing and have it line up with the community notes, the community patch notes, things, community news. So they did that. They made it horizontally even. But in doing so, when you have a what is an HD resolution, 1920 by 1080, like 16 by nine frame, and you make it the same same size as that that width. It well, it takes up the whole fucking screen. And I get it. I might not have known that it came out. I, I'm i stupid. <laughs> yeah, I don't go on social media or mm-hmm. watch YouTube. Um, so I see it on the home screen. OK, I'm going to buy it. So I buy it and it's still there i saw somebody on again on facebook not exactly the best place to go for these things but on facebook i saw someone say that they bought it for the only because they wanted to get rid of it and it's still there it's still there yeah Yeah. i mean there's a community note section that hides the patch notes you can't put it there Yeah, yeah i mean i get wanting to have it seen all the time just to to do to push the sales i get that i get it but dude all right, this is not. I mean, we don't have to talk about it for a half hour, but I'm just saying it is annoying as shit that it's fucking massive. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that uh, Andy, I think on Reddit, was like, "Well, uh, everything's bigger in Texas." Yeah, but, uh, we might we, got a little carried away. Might got a little carried away here. Yeah, um, yeah. I that uh, can we hot fix that, please? I mean, it does anything different. People are going to notice. It could be as big as the text community notes. Hmm. and people would still notice a difference on the main menu yeah don't hide don't hide my house i want to go home i want to go home i don't know where it's at anymore yeah i've already seen people complain about the ui in general in this game so for for that to happen it's like damn just or or just let you be able to hide it you know what i'll i'll compromise every time the game boots up even though that's going to be every three games when the game crashes um (laughs) it's it's there and i can press a button to hide it done compromise and then while i'm playing in that session it stays it stays hidden until I have to restart the game every three games. Perfect. Let's talk about the DLC itself. Hmm? Let's let's start, I guess, with the victim cosmetics, uh, the victim cosmetics. I so let me just say, first of all, I hate the way they were marketed. I hate the red background graphic. I don't even mind like uh, pixels pooped all over that. I don't even I don't mind that you want to throw a PNG on a red background. Fine. But <sighs> why would you hide half the cosmetic? Why? Why is it only the upper half of the character? I, I, we were all shocked when we saw Connie wearing pants. Yeah, we had no idea. Yeah, because it's literally not on the marketing at all. Why? Why would you not show off her full body? Because C- Connie, to me, now has the best outfit. I or she has the best DLC outfit. I like it. It looks really good. I love the pants. The pants sold it for me. Why isn't it on the fucking marketing image? I don't get it. It drives me nuts. Same with like. Like Julie's pants are different, kind of. Um, you seeing Leland, seeing Leland and his full getup. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you do a full body image? I don't or, get it. Or or in game capture. Yeah, like actual footage playing. of them playing. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> it's just those are kind of things in marketing beats that I'm like, that seems like a no brainer. Of course you show the full cosmetic. Of course you show the full cosmetic. Why wouldn't you? I only want to pay 250 until I see the full cosmetic. Then I'll pay the, the other 250 Yeah, like you're acting like you're selling a shirt. You're not. I, that's one of those things that annoys the shit out of me. It's like that can, that's, gets fixed in two seconds. You should know that. What the hell? Like, come on. Connie's pants are hot. They're hot. Show them off. Yeah, show them. <laughs> show them off. Uh, but yeah, so they actually became more worth it to me. The, the cosmetics became more valuable to me once I saw the full thing. It's like, oh, sick. But there's no way. To, can you see them? I don't know. I bought them instantly. Can you see the cosmetic before you before you buy them? You can. So you can go through and scroll through and see the full thing. Yep. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. Yes, you can. Yeah, that makes me feel a little bit better. But still, they should have been promoted otherwise because they were getting clowned on for those cosmetic packs being recolors. And there, there are still some that are kind of, kind of close. Like Julie's is very similar. Uh but really, they're, it's way better than I thought it was going to be. She shows another half inch of her tummy. What do you mean? 
Yeah. It's not that. Yeah, whatever. Five dollars per victim pack is. I don't know. It's it's not that bad, especially in today's world of gaming. Um, I think what makes it all look bad is that just so much dropped at once. You, we don't have a new map. We don't have new characters yet. We don't even have a very stable build of the fucking game. You know, like the servers crash all the time. There's there's always issues, lobby dodging issues. And then you just get spat on with $41 DLC, more than the base price of the game in your first DLC drop, all cosmetic based. It's like, yep. I don't even, we'll talk about Nicotero Leatherface uh, soon, but I don't even think his price is all that bad after playing him and, and you know, it's Greg Nicotero. Right. It's still a little high. It but. just, yeah. So we can assume that our next piece of content is going to be uh, a couple uh, characters and a map. Mm-hmm. And then a couple months later, it's going to be another $41 worth of DLC. Yeah. If, if you seriously just spread them out. Like usually drops like big drops in games are quarterly. Usually. So Dead by Daylight is quarterly. Call of Duty does their big their season drops quarterly. Every three months, that's when you'll get the new characters, new map. I get that. We're not at three months yet. We're, we're sneaking up on it pretty quick. It's coming up. But I get that. But then to to spread it out, to make the time in between better, you do those cosmetic drops individually and separately. So th- it should have been should have been the victim drop, which or we, you could have even done one victim at a time. But that's a little that's a little too spread out. But that's what makes it tough. What doesn't make it tough is if you dropped just the victim bundle mm-hmm. and they were three dollars each. Yeah. And so now you have $15 worth of content mm-hmm. as a big, big drop. And then you release Nicotero Leatherface and the family bloody skins after or other skins for other family members because they don't have any. Yeah. And Leatherface got another one and the other ones have nothing. But hey, they have bloody skins now. Which that could have been dropped separately. Like the yeah. yeah, it's it's what makes it look so bad is that you hit us with forty one dollars in DLC all at once in your first drop. So real because really I don't mind spending twenty dollars in five character DLC. I, I don't mind. It's the fact that I had to buy then another five dollar bloody family pack. Didn't have to, but I did. I, these are all cosmetics, and you're not required to have them. They're not pay to win. Um, Nicotero is a little bit. We'll talk about it. Uh, but yeah, there's. It's, you don't have to buy cosmetics, but yeah. So you have twenty dollar bundle, then another five dollars a bloody family pack, and then Nicotero Leatherface, all in a go, forty one dollars. Yeah, you didn't have to do that. Yeah. So moral of the story, I, I don't think the prices are that bad. They're just is too much at once. It was too much. It's I could have bought food. I did buy food. <laughs> I bought groceries, which is why you couldn't buy the DLC. <laughs> which is why I only got Nicotero Leatherface. Yeah, because I play Leatherface. And, you know, if I really wanted to buy that Anna on a pack, I I guess. But I like her uh, her last outfit that she has base. Anna's. Yeah, it's it's black her, and gray. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's dark enough. You like her male lady DLC. That's all right. I didn't. I like the only one of Anna's that I do like is the black pants and the red shirt. I'm like, yeah, I like that. But uh, otherwise, like the one, the blue, the denim looking one, it just looks like a male lady. <laughs> She could be delivering the mail. That's why that's why she's trying to run down the driveway. She delivered the mail. She had to drop off a package. Now she's, she's running getting, back to the car. She's getting out of there. She's running back to the car. I, I would just, I'd just pull in. If I was her, I'd just pull in says next no, time. says no trespass. There's an electric grid. What would she do, jump over it? I've seen Amazon drivers do a lot more. I've also yeah. seen them do a lot less. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. The only one I really don't like. Well, first of all, I do think that there needs to be more victim unlockable unlockables. That's one of the things that's not helping them. That there's really no unlockables, so you're just kind of you have to buy DLC it, to have it, something it different. It looks so bad. Yeah, it looks so bad. It looks like money hungry. Yeah, like we're giving you very little for free. Give us five bucks a pop. Five bucks every three months. Yeah, I mean, they would have just gotten for one character. <laughs> If they, yeah, they had more unlockables. That'd be nice. That that would certainly help. Um, the only one I really just disagree with completely is the bloody family pack. Why are they charging five dollars for that? It should be free. Like it's a game that already has interactable blood. 
Like you can get if you kill somebody, you'll get blood. You slash somebody, you'll get blood on you. It's three dollars at most. At yeah, most it's three dollars. It, it's a rip. It's a ripoff. It it, is. Yeah, Sorry. that one. That's the only one that's like really bad. I don't like the the fact they're charging and five dollars for the bloody family sp- pack, especially sissies. Yeah, like sissy's got no blood on her. Basically, it's on her feet. That's it. Yeah, like you're gonna get more blood on you just slashing people. Like you're not even gonna tell you wearing a skin anymore. Yeah, uh, you can get the same amount of blood on sissy with two hits. With yeah, two hits actually hit. You have more blood on sissy than you do with the bloody skin, and that's ridiculous for yeah. five dollars. And I, I do like, I like the way the cook looks. I like the way Leatherface looks. But another thing that really annoys me about that bloody family pack, I hate that it's only on the killing mask. It's only on the killing mask for Leatherface. I, I would if you had a bloody pretty woman, a you know, bloody Nicotero, uh, the, the bloody old lady, like that would be cool. Then I would be like, okay, now I'm starting to see five dollars. Yeah. It just it just comes across as lazy, and that's why a lot of people are upset. Yeah, and and aren't a fan, and vocally so. Yeah, and I I hate to because you know good guy he's a good guy Wes Keldner great guy, all right. I hate to throw him under the bus, and I because I know what he's doing, and I like what he's doing. He's being trying to be transparent and show the details of the development process, but the sixty day thing, like it takes sixty days to make each skin for the victims like at the end of the day yeah it does but there's a lot of things that aren't really like when you you put it in for cert like you then submitted it and you walk away like when you say it took 60 days to make these it sounds like it was 60 days eight hours a day to make one skin and then when the skins are so similar things like julie are so similar to her base skin you're like oh i saw someone on reddit they uh they literally like had a timer and they were like how to make uh julie's new skin i don't remember who it was yeah. it wasn't leland but it was like, it was julie's new skin <laughs> because you couldn't see the pants so you had no idea how different they were mm-hmm. so they started a stopwatch and they took julie's shirt and went and just scooted up a little bit googled 70s googled 70s outfit closed the tab raised her shirt a little bit and then copy paste and then change the color. And it was yeah. like a minute. Yeah. Like, obviously, it's not that easy. No. Like, obviously, there there's the drawing phase. There's getting the design. Then there's actually making the 3D renders and the, the actual coding, and, you know, getting it into the game. Like there, there, Yeah, there's real work. I, I understand there is real work going into these things. But when you're so close to what looks like a recolor, then you get hit like you're asking five dollars per pack. Right. And then it's just like, hey, we slaved over these. That's what it comes off as, dude. I know that's not what he's saying. I know it's not what he's saying, but it just, it, that's how it comes off. Yeah. You got to show the whole, the whole model. Well, that too. Yeah. You got to yeah. show the whole outfit too. <laughs> like, yeah, that's, that's bad. It's bad. It's bad marketing. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. It is. Yeah. That's the, uh, yeah. But I don't know. Evil Dead did the same thing, man. Where they it's sure like, did. Yeah. Just show like half a cosmic. Like, what are you, what are you doing, man? Like, d- Jesus Christ, you put in the you put 60 days in per skin. Can you show me it? I want to see it. Yeah. You know, that's one of those things. Do you want to see all the work we did? Spend $5. Yeah. Per character. Right. It, it's it's it's, it's like, like Wes doesn't have any intention of like being a dick like that. He's not trying to do that. He's just trying he's trying to be transparent. He's trying to be an honest person inside of this this kind of crazy, you know, money hungry industry. He's just trying to be an honest person and stand out in there. And and he he does a lot. And he's a He's a good dude. It's why we talk about him. It's why he's a he's a known name in the community. But like, yeah, the way that the way that shit just comes off, especially in you're already in a hostile environment with you have a you have a fan base right now that's not not exactly clicking, not exactly clicking with you. It just comes off in the wrong way. Um, so yeah, because I, I especially because he got he was upset. He's like I was trying to be I try to be transparent. Everyone gets mad at me. It's like well that's not that's not what we're saying. <laughs> Right. like where's the other t- and the problem is okay you you say like hey i, I i'm trying to be transparent and the second i do everyone gets mad at me it's like well can we be trans a little bit more transparent about like why there isn't a big update right now why i'm still dealing with lobby dodging so bad i'm actually glad because now they've been saying they've been saying like, hey we're working on it this is like a huge issue we know it's a problem that wasn't yes. happening before so i'm like okay thank you for the transparency but bro 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Best of luck continued to uh, to Andy, Matt, Sid on that subreddit. Best of luck to you guys. Uh, continued, of course, uh, because it's been rough and it's going to be rough for a while. Yeah. And, and this is the thing. It's hopefully it's uh, not. <laughs> it's, it's a uh, it's a double edged sword. That's what I keep saying is like you you can either drop all the DLC at once and OK, then you just you satisfied a part of your audience. You got the, all the content out. You can have the new map, new characters and be like, OK, you'll shut up a good amount of people. But then the other people that are like, dude, I can't even play the fucking game. I can't play victim. I can't. The, the game's crashing constantly. The lobby dodging's horrible. Yada, yada. Then that crowd starts speaking up. So uh, literally you have to do like one massive update. And they, they're trying to pick and choose where the priorities are. And that it's a small team. It's a small team. And that's where it sucks. So you, I, you think I like sitting here ranting every fucking week? I don't like I, but man, we've just seen too many of these fucking games die. We've seen too many of these games die and they've seen those games die. Yep. Like they've seen what those games are doing wrong. They know what they did wrong with F-13. It's like, it's the, the answer is right in front of you. You're just, they're just in a weird spot. Like and that's another thing we don't, we only see guns perspective. Like the face of the game is gun, right? So we get there. We're getting their marketing, what they decide to say. We have no idea what's happening on Sumo Nottingham side. Right. Like, it could be the the gif of SpongeBob. All the SpongeBob's running around. The whole place is on fire. Yeah, you're right. We don't we don't know. And I think that's a, a little peak could help alleviate. Uh, again, there is going to be a group of people that's always going to be pissed for no reason. Yeah. So but I think that would alleviate a lot of other pressures or bring the streams back with yeah, a Q&A. The, yeah, wait, what? Wow. You said that I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. What happened? I mean, yeah, that chat is going to be a lot of dumpster fire garbage. Well, don't don't even make it. Don't make it a like, hey, playing development game like developers streaming developers playing like just make it. We're here to talk to you. Let's talk about your feedback. Let's be transparent. One to one. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, that like that would help certainly that, that would help a lot yeah i told man they they said they're gonna do another stream before even the game came out and they never did yeah i mean obviously you know game game release eh, it's gonna sure. be a little busier on there oh, yeah, yeah, sure. but uh but yeah i think that is definitely something that could be needed like a state of the state of the community state of texas yeah don't don't let it die bro don't let it die I too many s- of these suckers yeah. have gone away i want to see that cool set again yeah, I want to see a Nicotero Leatherface mask in the background of it. Come on. I just want a Nicotero Leatherface mask in general. True. Now, with all that ranting out of the way, this is why you watch these videos, right? Yeah. Well, in in our defense, someone's got to be in our defense. At least like that is what makes these unique, right? <laughs> just long ass discussions. Right. And it's not and it's from we want the game to succeed. We're not sitting here waiting for the game to fail <laughs> don't you understand we're riding the coattails of the game's success well, i can't be successful if the game's not successful <laughs> we, we just we just we just want the game to be a success and have fun and uh i feel better yeah that was therapeutic uh let's talk about nicotero leatherface save the best for last yeah uh 1599 dlc it is it's a, it's a skin for leatherface yes it's a unique chainsaw. Yes. It's a unique sound. Yes. And it comes with a unique execution. Mm-hmm. That execution is universal. It can be used on any leather face skin. Oh, sweet. The stuff's universal, so I can put the chainsaw on a different leather face. <laughs> wow, that was you're toxic. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. Uh, which is that's one of the downfalls of it. You spend sixteen dollars on something, you would you could have just got it for the chainsaw, honestly. And there's nothing. Cl- it's not clear enough that you, you can't use the chainsaw. Right. Yeah. It's not a given. It's not a given that you can't use the chainsaw on other skins, but you can't. And you can't use the regular chainsaw or any of like the memento or pristine, whatever. You can't use that on Nicotera Leatherface. I mean, I guess I, I didn't read the store description. I don't know if it said that, but yeah, it, it wasn't clear. But then, yeah, then one of the one of the pieces of that puzzle you can use on different leather faces. The execution. Yeah. Yeah. That it's just an interesting choice. Maybe yeah. that's maybe that's uh, Greg's deal. Well, especially because that execution, that's the only thing you want from the you probably just saw the execution separately, right? Yeah. Like the or make it unlockable. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. An unlockable in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's game. a yeah, miracle. That's not a picture. Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah i uh because yeah the execution that's the only thing you want from it you don't have any intention of playing nicotero leatherface it would be nice if you could scoop the execution right but you know here we are Mm -hmm. that chainsaw it's quieter yeah so okay here's the thing i i like the skin I think it looks pretty good and it's yeah. definitely is grown on me a lot. At first I was like, I wasn't sure, but it, I don't know, especially after talking, we, I mean, we talked to Greg about it. Uh, I saw Greg at Scarevest talk to him about it and I just kind of getting his perspective on it and getting more details. It's like, yeah, you sold me, Greg way to go, baby. Um, so I really, I like the look of it. I love the saw. I think the saw looks cool as shit. Uh, I like the sound. I know. So like, it's like 50, 50. Some people hate it. Some people love it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Maybe it sounds like a freaking weed eater, like battery powered. Yeah. Like a freaking tractor, like a broken down tractor. Uh, but I, I like it. I think it's cool. Uh, yeah. I like, I like the execution. It's just fast enough where I'm able to use it and not get frustrated mm-hmm, that I'm mm-hmm. taking so long. I like the cinematics of it. I like the, 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 the focus you go, you're <laughs> focused on the, on the ground and it, it racks focus to his, his fucking cowboy boot. That's I nice. love that shit. That's nice. Um, so I, yeah, I like everything about it. I think even now, which are, I, I will play him forever. All right. Until the next other phase comes out. I like it. I still think 16 is a little high. I think 12, 12, like 12 would be probably the right spot. Yeah. But it is great. It is Greg Nicotero. I am a Greg Nicotero fan. Uh, mm-hmm. I actually I have a whole other rant. I want to talk about Greg Nicotero and people not knowing who he is. It's kind of pissing me off. Um, but I actually I'm a big Greg Nicotero fan. K and B is like fucking legendary you you, whether you know who greg is or not i promise you you've seen his work Mm -hmm. he's everywhere so yeah it's really cool to have a skin from a legend like him in the game yeah so for me i was like yeah 16 dollars, i can do it that's fine uh the but there is a little bit of a pay to win element yeah that chainsaw it's it's got a different sound it it's a little quieter Mm -hmm. um it can sneak up on you he 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 will sneak up on you yeah it is and it's noticeable. I'm, t- I'm telling you, it is a it's a pretty significant difference. It's not like insane, no. but it's pretty significant. Where that chainsaw is quieter, and it's quiet enough where it's so different from the original chainsaw sound, where it almost sounds like he's in a different room still. Yep. And all of a sudden he's hitting you. <laughs> and all of a sudden you're getting shit on by him. So yeah, you can get used to it. And you kind of like learn the sound mm-hmm. again, and you, you figure out when he's closer to you or not. But yeah, it it's kind of a little bit of a pay to win element because that sound does help you get closer to victims without them realizing you're there. Yeah. And it could help you get kills. Yeah. And then, uh, as we talked about before, uh, a lot some people when they're overhead revving and running with Leatherface, they listen to the sound mm-hmm. and other people look at the, uh, look at the bar. Others do both. Others are just God gamers and they know, uh, who are those people? <laughs> not me. Uh, I look at the look at the bar. I keep glancing at the bar and and sort of by the sound, um, but mostly looking at the bar. And you at the beginning were mostly the sound mm-hmm. because I mean we played Leatherface quite a bit, uh, and yeah, you overheated it. Yeah, and now you know. Yeah, look yeah at the bar. <laughs> yeah, after playing with him enough, now I can kind of listen again and, yeah. and understand when I'm getting close to overheating. But yeah, the first game I played with them, I overheated. I was like, what the? It's like, you yeah, buy yeah. that 99 account, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's, it's it's not as obvious when you're at the high rev rate with that that new saw sound. But yeah, it, there, there is still that like squeal, that uh, super high pitch ringing. Yeah, the thing is, to get to that sound, you have to be sitting at like 90 to 95 revved up. Way up there. Yeah, and so yeah, yeah once you're there, and, you, and as long as you're good at holding it, you're good. You'll, you'll hear whether you're going to overheat or not. But oh, yeah. Yeah, that's you have to be very comfortable playing Leatherface to sit that high all the time. So otherwise, you're going to overheat all the time. Yeah. yeah. But I recommend being able to rev that high anyway, because your chances of stalling are zero. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you're never you're never going to stall your chainsaw off. You can be able to sit at all the way up at like 90. You'll even notice now, like if you do have the, the stall protection, you'll still stall if you're at like just when you start sprinting, you'll still stall mm-hmm. like if you're just over the edge. So it's why you sit, sit higher over that 90, a 90 rev rate. Yeah. Yep. I posted the gameplay. My first game is Nicotero Leatherface posted that as a video. Just want to get that out right away. Evergreen content, you know, and someone said that I'm not a very good Leatherface. I hurt my feelings. <laughs> I have at least 2,400 kills as Leatherface. I don't know. Um, 
I don't know what I'm at now. I haven't checked in a while, but I, I know at least 2,400 kills. Well, I must have got carried, I guess. Yeah. Got carried those 2,400 kills. You're welcome. Yeah. My hitchhiker with 300 XP every game because <laughs> they, uh, they kept DCing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. So at the end of the day, Nick and Tara Leatherface, worth it. If you're, if think if you're a Greg Nicotero fan, it's worth it to you. If you want that little bit of pay to win element, sure. Uh, the thing is, you compare it to other games, and sixteen dollars doesn't really seem that bad when you compare it to other games. Like Ash is in Call of Duty right now. He, you know how much he costs? He, he costs twenty dollars. But it's it's Call of Duty. It's a AAA game. It's right. a little bit different. Uh, yeah. So that's why I think uh, I they are this whole hey, look at the market price. Look at the market. They're like right on track with the market. Well. To a degree, I actually I hate when it gets compared to Dead by Daylight. Like, oh, but characters characters cost you know this much and Dead by Daylight. Well, characters in that game come with perks that are unlockable, and you everybody can play those characters. Yeah, you can you can have five or excuse me, you have four Nicolas Cage in the game at the same time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You can't do that in TCM. So I charge you for characters right and the ability side of things. Yeah, whatever. Right, you can't you can't have four Lelands. Yeah. And go into that rant or for four it. Connies. Yeah. You can't have three leather faces. But when I pay $16, I'm going to want to play that character. And so is everyone else. Yeah. So that's the whole separate issue that honestly can't. The only thing that can be solved is drop more dope characters at a time. More than one family member at a time. More than one victim at a time. Yeah, which seems extremely unlikely. Which seems unlikely with the current yeah. uh, current plan we're seeing. And yeah. then also my wallet will be actually fucking smacking me in the face. Because <laughs> I don't have I, the money for that. I wonder what else fits the criteria of premium content. Like, you know? like license yeah. family and victims. Well, are, are licensed characters going to fall into premium content? Because that would be disgusting, dude. Yeah. Like if Chop Top comes out. Which we have a whole other video about that. Sixteen dollars for a character you probably will play Dude. once in in six hours. Yeah, it would be a a rough experience if it's that high. I I sure ten dollars for chopped up. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I'm into it. I guess. Um, I guess. I still don't like the idea of paying that much for care. I don't like the idea of paying for characters at all. Not in a game like this where where, where the abilities are so key. Pay to win. It's pay, it is pay to win. It's exactly what it is. Like. Could, could you imagine a year from now, say we have five more victims? Mm-hmm. Who the fuck is going to play Sonny? Sonny is going to they might as well say, all right, we got Maria. Uh, you keep Sonny. You're we're, we're fine. See you later, buddy. <laughs> we don't want it. Yeah, it, his ability just doesn't it. It has some use, but it's it's not as effective. Yeah. And it's, a, it's the same thing as like Johnny. Like nobody wants a Johnny in their game or a sissy. Really, you want the OG three. It's not because sissy and Johnny are bad. They're fine by themselves. If you get into a chase with Johnny, you're probably gonna fuck somebody up. But it, it fucks up the whole balance. The whole everything changes. So yeah, when you have a Sunny, he's cool by himself and he can make great callouts. But you're just not getting the benefit to actually help you survive, or yeah, you know, vice versa. Right. So yeah, jinkies. Yeah, he you probably will never be played. Yeah, I yeah, characters shouldn't be shouldn't be paid. But or they or they need to be unlockable on top of like you pay for it if you want it now, unlock it by grinding. Yep. I'm cool with that. That works for me. But I don't know. We're that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> uh probably not. I do wonder if since like Nicotero Leatherface is premium content, it sounds like they have other plans for more premium content. It, will they be teaming up with anyone else? Robert Kurtzman. We're going to go to K&B, although he's not part of K&B anymore, but Robert Kurtzman and Chris for Nelson. Yeah. And is that a 1599? Is that are we locked into that? Greg's price is a lot higher than other people's. Yeah. So why? So that's just pure profit if you're keeping it the same. Yeah. I. So, Greg, here's an here's inside scoop. Uh, listen here. Exclusive. I, I talked to Greg at his table. He's like. First of all, the poster I had him sign was the TCM poster. It was the first one he said he's ever signed. That was an honor. Thanks, Greg. Uh, and he said that he heard that people were upset about the price. And I'm, I was like, well, yeah, uh, 
I was like, I think most of the people that are upset about it, not all, because it still is a pretty high fucking price, Greg. I just I was like, it was pretty high. <laughs> but I was like, I think most people that are like, you know, the the fan that the target audience for this thing is your diehard horror fans who want to want a Nicotero design skin. It's most people playing this game though are just gamers. Like a lot of them aren't even horror fans. Maybe they they're new horror fans, they're casual horror fans, but they're not like they're they don't have collections and shit sitting around them. Right. Uh, so yeah, it I it, that's a tough sell. It's a tough sell to those guys. So I think that's what it is. You want to know his response? He said ah fuck him. That's what he said. It was awesome. <laughs> That was cool as hell. Exclusive. Exclusive. Uh, no, he was he was super cool. And he wasn't being a dick about it. He was like, yeah, you know, they don't want it. They don't want it. It's all good. No, nah, no. Nah, I, I was reading through uh, everyone from Scarefest posting and they said Greg Nicotero was was great. You, you wouldn't. I was thinking, man, because you look at all the guests there. His his net worth is probably the highest in the room. Dreyfus. Richard Dreyfus. Yeah, there, there's that. Who else? Like Kane's got some money, but dude, not he, million dollars an episode. Yeah, like you know how much money he was making on The Walking Dead, and then K and B, like yeah, he was probably probably the most powerful person in that room, and you'd have had no idea. You'd have had no idea. He was super humble, super cool. Yeah, yeah. Everyone said it was a great experience, worth the wait in line. Yeah, for him. Everyone his, said it was a great experience. His haircut makes him look homeless, so that helps. Uh, same though. Yeah, well, dude, look at me. I literally look like I should be living in the streets. I look like it a looks like you love your grandpa. I love you, grandpa. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so honestly, just talking to Greg and how humble he was, knowing the career he's had and just how rich he probably is. I'm, I'm OK with buying the skin. <laughs> so everybody that's like not sure if they want to buy it or not, just go go to a horror convention and meet Greg and you're good to go. Yeah. But. Next beef, my next, my last one, I swear to God, they didn't have any teeth. They didn't have the Nicotero skin, uh, any pictures for him to sign no. at the table. I wanted one. I wanted the concept art mm-hmm. signed by him. I mean, we got the one for Kane right there. Yeah, I wanted that. I got one of a uh, sissy mm-hmm. in my hope chest. In my hope chest. Yeah, it, he didn't have one, so I couldn't get it. I was like, damn, dude. That would have been dope. I did. Uh, I did get Scout Taylor Compton to sign the poster as well, and she did draw Julie. She was very intrigued by the fact that Julie has boob physics. Nice. Yeah. Good times. Scout's great. Yeah. Scout's great. I wonder who else they're going to sneak into this game, like Amy Steele. Could be. I think we've talked long enough. Let's get the fuck out of here. Moving on. Sure. Go see Five Nights at Freddy's. What time is it? Let's see. <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> time to go is what time it is. All right. Well, that's going to wrap this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.